Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so Lil Durk's artist, OTF Timo, looks like he ran into a little bit of trouble back home in Chicago or maybe even in Atlanta. I'm not sure. OTF got so many members in different spots or either of those two spots. They're either in Chicago or they're in Atlanta. And it seems like, you know, regardless of where they're at, they have some type of issue. Now, Timo looks like he had a real serious issue today because it looks like the feds had him on their radar. And he took to social media to talk about the whole situation. Now, it's no secret that Lil Dirk, OTF, and everybody involved in, in, in hip hop right now has some type of radar on their back. But it looks like Timo was surprised and he went to lashing out on social media after the facts. Now, before we get into the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this situation. Man, let's talk about it. So Timo, man, OTF Timo, is one of Lil Durk's artists, right? Now, he comes from Chicago. He's from the low ends. And basically, man, he was one of the most standout artists on their last project. He even kicked off the whole project with his own single called Rules. Now, in Rules, he detailed all the rules specifically one should, you know, attain to if they're going to be at, taking place in street activity. Now, the rules, he talked about a lot of things, but he definitely talked about, you know, telling on yourself. I think it was rule number 12 or something like that. And basically, Timo was putting out a whole playlist for his own self because according to his own admission, he had the fed, feds, excuse me, run up in his crib and get to raiding it today. Now, I don't know what Timo might have done or what tipped the feds off, but obviously he was upset about the situation. Now, look at, let's look at the original post and then we're going to break down all these posts after that. All right. Now, in this very first post you see right here, Timo says it's simple and plain. Feds raided my crib. F finna go to jail. And let it be known that the feds are raiding his crib and he thinks he's about to get locked up. Now, I don't think he got locked up because he continued to post after this point. And I wasn't sure if he was clout chasing or not. Or was he just, you know, messing with his fans, you know, just, just having fun with the fans or something like that. But it got more serious as he continued to post. Now, it's no secret that most of these hip hop labels, especially when you got the independent label with a bunch of street artists, that they're definitely on the feds radar, man. They're looking at them. We've seen this in the NBA young boy situation with 4K Trey and NBA gang and all that. We've seen it, man. We've actually seen the news articles with the actual, you know, the hard documents and everything, man. The black and whites, they definitely looking at some of these, these uh, music crews and I want to say record labels as, you know, as legit crime organizations, man. Even though it might not be true because most of these cats are just artists from different places. Like they are, their sole purpose for being together is to create music. But man, when it seems like your sole purpose to be together is to create crime, man, that's going to draw the long arm of the law. And it looks like Timo ran into that situation today and he wasn't too happy about it because he continued posting about it at least an hour or two later. And it was repeated posts about how he's not trusting his team and how he felt betrayed. So I'm wondering which one of those rules in the rules song that he felt the homies broke. But man, let's go ahead and look at some of these posts. Now, in the very next post, OTF Timo said this. He said, ain't showing no more love. Forget everybody and everything. And you know I had to improvise because of the language that he used, but you get what he said there. So basically, he's feeling like, man, somebody betrayed him. I don't know who did or who backdoor him or whatever. Maybe they need to listen to Lil Dirk's song, but man, it seems like somebody, he feels stabbed him in the back in some situation involving this. Now, he doesn't go super in-depth about what was discovered or what was found or what wasn't found, but you can deduct that if he's still posting on social media and he's not in somebody's jail or whatever, that man, whatever the feds was looking for, they did not find, especially if this story is true. You know, I'm still going to leave it out there that maybe he's still having a little fun with the fans and this didn't take place, but maybe it did take place and he's just really angry. That's why he kept posting. Now in the next post, he, he even elaborated a little bit more on that same point. He said this. Now in the very next post, he said this. Solo, forget all that fake stuff. And once again, I had to cover it up. You know what he said. And basically, he's talking about the fact that he's going to be ro rolling solo dolo from now on. And he ain't going to be, man, trying to affiliate with anybody who's fake 
or it seems a little sketchy, I bet, man. This is a real deal situation, and rappers are really running into a hard, you know, a hard decision here because they love to keep up the street persona, but with that comes a lot, man. And when it comes to situations like this, people running up in your crib, especially if it's the feds, man, that could be a wake-up call to anybody. So hopefully Timo just works on his on his music, continues to grind it out as an artist, and I'm pretty sure everything will clear itself up, especially if he didn't get locked up and he's do and no need to call a lawyer or anything like that. Maybe you need to call a lawyer anyway. I don't know, man. I can't give legal advice, so don't take it from me. But I've I never been in that situation, but it sounds traumatic to say the least. Now, hopefully everything with OTF Timo is all right. But man, one other thing I want to talk to before we close this video out is, have you seen this viral video of Lil Durk moving around the mall with his security team, man? So some random fan was on social media and they saw Lil Durk walking around the mall with his security team. And man, Lil Durk was moving like, I mean, with the squad. It looked like a small little organization or army or something moving with Lil Durk, man. I'm talking about he had so many security with him, it was ridiculous. But he was walking comfortably and moving right, man. I know a lot of fans were comparing this to other rappers who have been seen in the past with a ton of security and saying, what's the difference? But I say, man, with Lil Durk or any rapper, I don't care who you are, man. If you're famous, you making millions, you need to be moving right. You need to be moving with security. So I don't see the big deal with it. I don't know, man. I think some people make a mountain out of a molehill for real. Because Lil Durk, for all intents and purposes, should have been moving with security like this from the gate. Like, ever since he was famous. But, you know, now he's in a position in the game where he's like super duper famous. You know what I mean? You're talking about Grammy Awards and stuff. Or nominated for a Grammy, I should say. You're talking about... You know, billions of streams. You do. He's doing big numbers, number one album, stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's not, nah, man. Yeah, it's a different type. It's a different type of time now. So I don't, I don't see anything wrong with Lil Durk moving with a whole troop of security and his homies, man. It looked like, man, ain't nothing gonna happen to Lil Durk on a watch, and that's how it should be. Now, with that, man, we went over a couple of things, man. What do you guys think about this OTF Timo thing, man? Do you think more is gonna come out of this? Do you believe that OTF Timo, this was just a one-off situation? Or do you think there's really some agencies or some folks looking into OTF and seeing what's up with them and trying to catch them slipping? Or what about Lil Durk, man? Do you think that Lil Durk should be moving around with a mountain of security, you know, in the front, the back, and his homies just in order to maintain his safety? I mean, he has had a lot of situations lately as far as concerts and stuff like that and different things. Even though Lil Durk came out and said that that whole concert shooting situation wasn't didn't really happen. It was just something that was, you know, that people thought happened but didn't. I don't know how that goes because, you know, I heard the I heard the sounds from it and it sounded like what everybody said it was, but it is what it is, man. Now with that, this has been your boy Big Man. Please do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.